Here it is, November 20, 2022. We're into week number 57 of major construction. I'm down here to do another walking tour of the site today and see what's happened over the last week down through here. I'm down in the West Paseo, starting to move east here. And uh, I've scouted this out and there's not really a whole lot that's changed down here. This is starting to mature construction wise. So there's not a whole lot left to do here, but there are some things that will be done here. Up here, uh, you can see in these areas off to the side, this will be the little uh, schoolyard area here. And this will looks like to be turf, I believe. Uh, my guess is they'll bring in uh, uh, rolls of turf and just lay it out when they get ready to uh, start finishing this off. And this over here also will be turf, I believe. This area here. And as we move on up here, uh, the areas that will be flanking the uh, Winfield Scott statue, I believe these will be turf also. I've still yet to finish off the top of these uh, these concrete uh, railings and uh, flower bed areas here, so they got to come in with some kind of stone and finish uh, these off right here. Yet hasn't been completed, and then I believe these areas here will also be uh, turf because they have uh, water sprinklers right down there. If you can see those water sprinklers right there. So let's move on down through here, headed towards the West Bowl. Time is 7.12 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Uh, astronomical sunrise today was at 7.04 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. We have some other it looks like, uh, you can see here, inside these, uh, these packages, they're squared stones. So I believe these will be the topping stones that will sit on the, uh, the uh, flower bed areas and railings around here that will act to create like a flat surface on which people can also uh, sit like a bench of sorts. See back over here, this hasn't really changed that much. Back through here. But they're continuing to form stuff up down here and get it cleaned up. This little hillside uh, planter area here is getting all fixed up. So we're gonna move on down into the West Bowl now. Again, today I'll, I'll shoot in six minute segments makes it easier in post and seems a little safer way to uh, go about shooting. So we're heading on down to the West Bowl now. See they have uh, quite a few uh, plants back over here that will be part of their landscaping when they start to uh, do that. And. Uh, Yesterday I was down in the area and I saw that they were working on Saturday, which is uh, probably them trying to push ahead on things. Uh, they were working up here in the West Paseo and over here in the Marshall Gardens area, getting stuff fixed up. So time is, uh, time is growing short till January now. And uh, still a lot of stuff left to be done. We'll go look at the Marshall Gardens first and then we'll go over by the canopy. See what we can see over there. They are getting that, those panels uh, moved on around there. Look back over here into the Marshall Gardens area. And they are getting this formed up and sort of leveled off. This area directly in front of me here, I think will be what's gonna be called the 
wedding garden or wedding area. This, this will be an area where they can uh, uh, come and do weddings for about 40 people or so, I believe, is what they're specifying. So let's walk on down here. I see that they've started putting up their, their facing stones back over here. So starting to get this moved on along. Let me tilt back up a little bit. But down here we can see they have uh, started matching up their facing stones along here, getting this uh, fixed up. So we're starting to make progress here on the uh, little Marshall Gardens area. You can see uh, what they're doing here with this facing stone. Getting this fixed up. And here we can see where they're putting down the uh, the uh, topping stones. They create sort of like a little bench area there also where you could sit and rest. And uh, let's wrap around this way. Getting this facing stone pretty far on along here. All right, time to start a new segment. All right, here I'm on a new segment, segment two. We're gonna move on around out of the Marshall Gardens here and up over to the canopy, see what we can see over there. Let me tilt up a little bit more. And the canopy has come on pretty far along here. Looks like they're almost to the point where they've got most of the uh, large uh, panels that are wrapped around underneath here done. Let's go back down this way. We'll wrap back around. You see these large panels are pretty much wrapped on around here. Be interesting to see what these cables are for. Still have yet to uh, solve that riddle, but something uh, interesting, no doubt. There's a close up of one of these things. Not sure that solves any riddles. Going around this way. Check out what they're doing. See how far they've gotten here. Actually, it might be wrapped all the way around now. You see here the panels up here. Back over here. Looks like to my eye, they have completed those large uh, panels there. Let's walk them around this way. Take a shot of the canopy from right here. See the panels have been wrapped all the way around now, I believe. Well, not quite. There's still one little section here left to complete. Right up here. You can see they got this one little side here they've got to finish off. So this is looking good. Moving along with the canopy here, getting those panels put on. This little work area here, boxes down here that the that the panels were shipped in here. 
And back over here, they're prepping the panels for installation. Back over here. Let's see here, they've got panels set up here. So let's see, let's maybe walk on around the way I did last time. Let's go this way. Civic walk here. And back out in here, the Botanic Garden area. You can see they're working on that, getting it just the basics formed up here. Uh, laying some concrete down here. This should be the base, if I can get it uh, shown here. This concrete should be the base of one of the planters here. So we'll be putting, uh, there's another one over here. So these, these are getting fixed up. So when they actually come and start laying the brick, I think for the planters, this is where the planters will sit out here. Let's move on around this way. Someone's coming up, back over there. And, uh, as I look back over here, I can see that the uh, East Bowl canopy has been uh, uh, extended on along there, so they're getting that put back together from whatever the uh, really reason was for breaking it down in the first place. go around this way somewhat similar to I did way I went last weekend and uh, coming up on another uh, six minutes here so I'm gonna start another segment alrighty all right here I'm on uh, the next segment We'll back over here and look at the uh, water and fog plaza. See what's been getting accomplished over here. And we can see back over here in the water and fog plaza that they have poured more concrete back in here and moving this farther along to completion. So we'll take a look at this. Let's see what's happening here. This is turning into be a very interesting area here. I think it'll be very beautiful once uh, once it's up and running, and then they have lights shining up. You have a mist going on, sort of a fog out in here. This should be pretty cool, really. So they're getting this fixed up. Got concrete poured out here. We can walk around on this a little bit, maybe. Whoops. I'll trip and kill myself out here. All right, let's get pointed back over this way. You can see out here how they've got this uh, fixed up. These sort of concentric circles through here with the misters down there and misters up in the uh, area there. It looks like they'll have a trees up in the middle of these planter areas here with mist uh, coming up. Same thing back over here. This will be all fixed up. So this is looking nice coming along. what's happening over here with the bathroom then you got your little pavilion area here will be uh, tables and chairs people can sit back up in here if you got kids playing parents can sit up here and keep an eye on their kids 
see what's happening with the bathroom here. And this will be the restroom here. wall here back in here got these little rooms here I'm not sure these will be like family rooms where you can take your kids or something or what kind of thing is going to be going on there but let's wrap around uh, this way Bicycle racks there. Head back down to the uh, East Bowl. See what's happening down here with the canopy. And let's see, let's go back around this way. It's starting to get a little bit crooked here. I don't know why this thing kind of drifts off of being straight, but it tends to sag to crooked after a while. Back up here to the East Bowl. crooked the other way. Here we up on the East Bowl here, looking back down to the uh, East Bowl canopy and stage area. Back over here. It's not really easy to tell what they're doing here. It was, they've, uh, and some reassembly, but I don't know if they're going to uh, go back to the original configuration of uh, with that snaking end, or if they're going to change it up and be try to be something more symmetrical. Difficult to say, but time reveals all. So let's start moving back down towards the. Uh, Lost into the project again. Time is 7.28 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. So, uh, uh, stuff definitely getting done over in the uh, Marshall Gardens, over here in the Water and Fog Plaza, but still a lot of stuff to be done. I think down through here, this, uh, what'll be the Civic Alley, I think this will largely be concrete and uh, inner and paving stones down through here. I don't think there's hardly any turf that's shown on the, any of the drawings. So, Okay, oops, way past six minutes now on this. Okay, I'm going to stop this and start another segment. Right, here I'm on uh, another segment. Let's see, I think I'll walk right up this way. Kind of a natural little path here.
here you get a nice frontal shot of the canopy. All this area right out in here in front of the canopy will be a big turf area where people can, when they're doing shelves, it'll sort of be a natural area. You can throw down a blanket or something and sit. You can also see from here, they just have this one little section over here on the left side that needs to be completed with the paneling. So moving along on this. Looks like down here they've also poured the uh, this frontal area, which acts as sort of a step up onto the stage right there. You can see right there. All across there has been poured. Creates kind of a natural step up into the canopy pavilion area. It'll tilt up. See the canopy across there. And then that'll be uplit during certain times, maybe even at night. They'll just have up lighting and it could be LED lights that uh, can uh, change uh, color and maybe brightness. Make kind of a light show there at the night. Make the area look nice. Then you know, back over here you'll have the, the uh, water and fog garden also, which will be lit up. And then you'll have the added dimension of fog and mist, which will be constantly uh, changing in a dynamic fashion. So that should be that should be pretty neat. So I mean, during uh, times when they have uh, events out here, this could be a pretty uh, spectacular sight to see. So walking around this way. Doing some work back down by the uh, Performing Arts Center back down here too. All along there, making that uh, maybe increasing the side of the sidewalk there or something, so access through there will be better. Get the canopy from over here, wrapping on around. So that'll be very nice. Nice when it's completed. Uh, turn this back down. Move on up this way. Go over here by where the new bar will be. Shoot over the fence. Starting to make progress on getting that. Uh, I keep wanting to get crooked. Canopy from over here. A shot of the canopy there. Looking nice. Going around this way. shoot over the fence here. I've seen that they are starting to uh, work on getting their basic foundation and the beginning of the walls 
set up over here, though I think this bar will be largely have a lot of glass. So let me shoot over here. You see they've got the bases of their foundation set up and they're starting to do brick work and moving this along. I'm not sure what that back old wall, what part that plays in all of this with the new building, but uh, it may play some role there. Let's move on up this way. Actually, at six minutes, I'm gonna start a new segment here. All right, this will be the final segment, heading back towards the uh, uh, West Paseo now, where I'll finish up back in there. Get a shot of the canopy from this direction. Back up through there, trees, a lot of trees through here. So, canopy's moving on along. back over here to the West Paseo. Kind of shot back over to the Marshall Gardens there. That'll be a nice area that interconnects with the Botanic Gardens, so that should be a nice walk through that area. Nice places to sit down and check, just uh, hang out and, or go over and check some of the uh, plants and whatnot over in the uh, botanic gardens there. Let's see what's over here. Can't really tell what that stuff is. Paseo. Adjust my gimbal. So this is pretty much our tour for the day. Stuff getting done, moving along. But you figure this next week, if uh, they run true to form, they would only have a three-day work week due to Thanksgiving weekend unless they decide to come down and work on Friday or something. But uh, starting to move along. It's feasible that they could uh, wrap up on the West Paseo here and then move their fences down to about where I'm standing now. And... Uh, then let this uh, west end be opened up, but we'll see. There's still things that they need to do, put up railings and uh, put down their turf, do their landscaping, so just have to see how that goes. But we are getting stuff done here. So we go up the ramp. See, they've been doing some work back down here. They had this painted, then they redid the concrete. So I don't know if that's con connected with uh, them doing some electrical work here with these lights and having to redo things a little bit there. But I'm gonna go right up here and take a pan of the area. See what's what. Back there where the yearlings will eventually come back to, probably maybe late December or something, I'm not sure. Whenever they think it's safe, they still gotta do their landscaping. Then right down here, these two areas will be turf areas. Uh, and then they've got this, uh, like I said earlier, I think, this little catch basin's finished off. And then those two areas back over there will be turf. They gotta get their capstones on these planters and uh, 
the wall back up there, so that's yet to be accomplished. And uh, seems like they did something to widen these what were planter areas here. So I'm not really sure. This keeps evolving in its own way here, so maybe those will be planter areas and maybe there'll be something else. Not really sure. But here we are back in the West Paseo. Down where I started at. And this area is looking very nice. Once these trees sort of mature, which may take uh, maybe 10, 15 years, they'll be 40 feet tall probably, unless they grow faster. Uh, and there'll be uh, large trees out here providing shade. Just have to mature a little bit. So here we are. Looking back down to the West Paseo. End this right here. Call this good for today. Another walking tour in at 7:42 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. So, gotta finish this up here. Head back home. Start all my editing process. Get it fixed up for posting sometime tonight, probably. Alrighty.